नमस्कार मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों कल कुछ ऐसे बातें थी जो मैं आप तक पहुंचाना चाहता था अभी भी वही कोशिश करूंगा आई ऑफन वंडर वॉट ब्रॉट मी हेयर लिटिल लेट आई रियलाइज दैट दो बेबी स्टेप्स इन क्रिकेट वुड लीड मी टू ग्रेट लाइफ टाइम मेमरीज I always loved playing sport and cricket was my life. My father, Professor Ramesh Tendulkar, was a poet and a writer. He always supported me and encouraged me to be what I wanted to be in life. The greatest gift I got from him was the freedom to play, the right to play. And I would always be grateful to him for that. There are many pressing matters in our country which requires our attention economic growth poverty food security health care among many others being a sportsman i am going to talk on sports health and fitness of india for it has a telling impact on our economy my vision is a healthy and fit india jab swasth hai yuva तब देश में कुछ हुआ इंडिया इज सेट टू इमर्ज एज द यंगेस्ट एवरेज एज नेशन इन द वर्ल्ड बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो द अजम्पन इज यंग है तो फिट है बट वी आर रॉन्ग वी आर द डायबेटिक कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विथ ओवर सेवेंटी फाइव मिलियन पीपल बींग अफेक्टेड बाई दिस डिजीज एंड वेन इट कम्स टू ओबेसिटी we are sitting at number 3 spot in the world the economic burden of these diseases will not allow our nation to progress according to a un report the impact on the indian economy of non communicable diseases from year 2012 to 2030 will be 6.3 trillion us dollars यानी इंडियन चार करोड़ करोड़ रुपये आपने सही सुना चार करोड़ करोड़ रुपये मगर ये नंबर हम सब नीचे ला सकते हैं अगर हम सब ने यही कोशिश की कि हमारी सेहत ठीक रहे सही तरह से एक्सरसाइज करें और कोई स्पॉट खेले तो बहुत कुछ बदल सकता है बट आई फील उसके लिए वी नीड a plan to help us become a sporting nation to change our sedentary lifestyle unhealthy mindset hamare fitness ke sessions light ho rahe aur khane ke sessions thode heavy hote ja rahe hain hame ye aadat badalni chahiye mujhe lagta hai ki is mobile phone ke zamane mein hum sab immobile hote ja rahe hain many of us only discuss but we don't play at all we need to transform india from a sport loving nation to a sport playing nation make everyone more active and participative inculcate and develop the sporting culture in our country the northeast of india which has only 4% population of india has a vibrant sporting culture it has produced many sporting heroes including our boxing icon Mary Kom recently crowned champion weightlifter Meera Bai Chanu Deepa Karmakar Bai Chung Bhutia Sarita Devi Sanjita Chanu and many many more sport promotes social harmony president nelson mandela's efforts to use the rugby world cup in south africa's journey to become an inclusive state is legendary sport has a unique way of building a nation it builds character for individuals and character for individuals means character for india from being a naughty child to chasing a dream to win the world cup for india i became more disciplined and more focused i had a goal and i started planning for it but the most important aspect was the execution of those plans not always did i succeed there were occasions where i failed but sports taught me to get back on my feet again and compete in the fairest possible manner i fondly recall a few lines 
shared by my father many years ago. Parabhav manje shevat nahi. Harun gharat bashna yogya nahi. Kaditari ekhada utkrushta khayadvi shunyavar baad hoto. Pan tyan antar cha sangarshat udya cha samarthya nirman karto. Ayushala ek vegay kalat ni dito. We must build a sporting culture in our country. Otherwise, a young, unfit, unhealthy India is a recipe for disaster. I am humbly proposing a framework of three I's here. Invest, ensure, immortalize. Invest. We must invest our own time and effort and ensure our wellness. Each one of us needs to start adopting an active sport and play it regularly. We have our honorable chairperson who loves his game of badminton, much like the famous poet and lyricist Gulzar Saab's love for tennis. Age is no bar as we are a country where one of the oldest marathon runners is the 101 year old E.P. Parmeshwaran from Kochi whom I met recently. Our citizens and school children should have access to more sports infrastructure. Open spaces and playgrounds should be retained. Along with smart cities, we should look at building smart sport cities. In this context, I appeal to the Honorable Minister for Corporate Affairs, Arun Jaitli ji, to kindly consider a percentage of CSR spends be made compulsory for the development of sports infrastructure. At a policy level, sports should be at par with any other subject in schools. Children representing school, district, state or country should get added marks or grades. This has been an area that I have been pursuing since the beginning of my tenure. I am grateful that it is indeed under serious consideration with the HRD and sports ministries working together on the same. Jab ghar mein beti paida hoti hai, tab hum kehte hai, Lakshmi ghar aai hai. Us Lakshmi ko, Lakshmi ki tarah rakhna, humare haath mein hai. Daughters of India have shown what they are capable of with champions like Sindhu, Sakshi, Saina, Saniya, Mitali, and the list goes on and on. When dreams don't discriminate, then why do we? I want to appreciate their parents, their family members, their coaches, their friends for helping them, for encouraging them. And that is the only reason they have reached here. My message to parents is to give equal support and encouragement to their daughters and sons and they will make them proud. Before the Olympics or a major sporting event, our expectations go skyrocketing. I realize that things are changing for the good and that we have adopted a long-term approach on preparation. Along with early identification of talent, we must also have a dedicated squad guiding our athletes' preparations. And I feel it is extremely important to have a full-time support staff around our athletes and winning medals should become their target as well. Last year, before the Olympics, one of our wrestlers was traveling to America for better sparring partners and to learn modern methods of wrestling. Could we have got them to India instead and use Digital India to share their training sessions with the rest of our coaches? And I'll back that up with my conversation with our badminton icon, Tulela Gopichan, who said there is abundant badminton talent in India, but he was concerned about the coaching standards in our country. Persistence, preparation and practice will help us achieve our targets. I know there is no glory in practice, but without practice, there is no glory either. In short, financial security is often a challenge when any sports person decides to focus on sports alone as their career. I am sure our colleague and former India hockey captain Dilip Tirki will agree 
that in most cases the sporting career ends at the early age of 35-40 years. Ironically, it is an age when a professional's career usually takes off or is rather stable. I am also aware that the government through its many institutions employs sports persons and supports them which we all appreciate. But we have many national, state, district level retired athletes who don't have a proper job. Some of them are probably passing files from one table to another. While ensuring their financial stability, we must also keep their minds engaged. Their skills and passion for sports would be best utilized for coaching our future generation. A case in point is the life of Nauri Mundu, who was a national level hockey player from Jharkhand. Following the end of her playing career, she doubles up as a teacher and works in the farm to make ends meet. Sita Sahu, a medalist at the Special Olympics in Athens in 2011, is selling gold gappas to manage her life. We need to create an organization and engage these athletes to train our school children and identify talent at an early age. There, there is so much that these athletes have to offer back to our society. It is also imperative to have health insurance for all our national level athletes. The struggles faced by our hockey great Mohammad Shahid in his last days reiterates the need to prevent such unfortunate situations. The life of Shamsher Khan is another reminder of how we have failed our national heroes. The champion swimmer represented India in the 1956 Melbourne Summer Olympics. He finished fifth place which continues to be the best Indian finish in the last six decades. He developed hearing and heart problems and due to financial constraints continued to live with these problems till his death. Our national heroes should be able to live a respectable life. Extending CGHS benefits to them is a step in that direction. I appeal to the Honorable Minister of Health and Family Welfare, JP Naddaji, to kindly consider my request on this issue, which is in line with the recommendations put forth by the AICS. Gold, silver and bronze have appreciated in value over a period of time. However, sports persons who won gold, silver and bronze medals for India, do we appreciate them enough? Achievements of champion sports persons like Nawab of Pataudi, Prakash Padukone, Karna Malleshwari, Ajit Wadekar, P.T. Usha are not celebrated anymore. These champions, our heroes, didn't have the best of everything, but they made the best of everything. Today's generation probably doesn't even know what these champions achieved in their time. Along with what's happening around the world of sport, I think it is extremely important that the youngsters learn about our sporting history. All of us have had heroes in life who have inspired us on various occasions. As a proposed sample, we have compiled a book on some of our unforgettable heroes among many others. I sincerely feel the lives of these champions should be part of our curriculum. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. Sport can create hope where once there was only despair, said Nelson Mandela. In the year 2009, this August House passed the Right of Children to Free and Compulsory Education Bill. It is my humble suggestion that the Act be amended to include the right to play. Sports can be considered an essential and mandated part of the curriculum. Consequently, each child 
should get the right to play a sport at school. माता पिता जैसे आज तक अपने बच्चों को पूछते आए हैं कि क्या तुमने खाना खाया क्या तुमने पढ़ाई की मेरे लिए वो दिन सबसे बड़ा दिन होगा जब इन दोनों चीजों के साथ माता पिता अपने बच्चों को यह भी पूछेंगे कि आज तुम खेले या नहीं आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर लिसनिंग टू मी टूगेदर वी कैन बिल्ड अ स्पोर्टिंग कल्चर इन इंडिया एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म द वे वी लिव एंड प्ले जय हिंद